ایٹین ہنڈریڈ آورس پاکستان اسٹینڈرڈ ٹائم السلام علیکم دس از ریڈیو پاکستان دا نیوز ریڈ بائے محمد زبیر خان فرسٹ دا ہیڈ لائنس پرائم منسٹر سیز اکانومی آف دا کنٹری از ناٹ اسٹیبل اینڈ موونگ ٹوورڈس پروسپیرٹی ڈیو ٹو پروڈنٹ اکنامک پالیسیز آف دا گورمنٹ Federal Cabinet has approved launching of a housing project on 400 canals for overseas Pakistanis. <music> Minister for Planning and Development says the government is giving special emphasis to bring improvement in living standards of people, especially deprived segments of the society. Pakistan <music> and Qatar have agreed to address all outstanding issues pertaining, pertaining to development of LNG terminals by the end of this month. In Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, APHC has denounced a surge in the custodial killings of Kashmiri youth. The United States promises about $308 million in an initial aid package for Afghanistan. And now the news in detail. Prime Minister Imran Khan says economy of the country is now stable and moving towards prosperity due to prudent economic policies of the government. Addressing the inaugural session of 14th International Chambers Summit in Islamabad today, he said making Pakistan a great country is our mission. He said the government has adopted effective and strong strategy to make economy stable and to meet global pandemic at a time. He said that Pakistan has dealt with the COVID with integrated policy protecting economy and human lives. The Prime Minister said inflation has hit the entire world hard and the government is trying to protect our citizens from adverse effect of this menace. He said exports, foreign remittances and tax collection is increasing significantly as these areas are on the top priority of the government. Federal Cabinet, meeting chaired by Prime Minister Imran Khan in Islamabad today, approved science, technology and innovation policy, Sambrayal Khariya Motorway, import of urea from China and privatization of Guddu and Nandi power plants. Briefing media in Islamabad this afternoon about the decisions taken by the Federal Cabinet, Minister for Information and Broadcasting, Chaudhary Fawad Hussain said the Cabinet also approved electricity tariff adjustment of 1 rupee per unit for next 3 months to provide relief to the people. He said the cabinet also approved launching of a housing project on 400 canals for overseas Pakistanis. The information minister said overseas Pakistanis can procure apartments in this project through Russian digital accounts. He said the government will fetch around $2 billion through this project. He said the cabinet also directed to frame a policy to enable foreigners to procure land in Pakistan. Chaudhary Fawad Hussain said the cabinet was also briefed about COVID situation in the country. He said it has been decided that no lockdown will be imposed in the country as Pakistan's economy cannot afford this. He, however, appealed the people to observe precautionary measures, especially wearing of face masks at public places to prevent spread of the virus. Minister for Planning and Development Asad Umar has said the government is giving special emphasis to bring improvement in living standards of people, especially deprived segments of the society. He stated this while inaugurating Ashas One Window Office in Islamabad today, along with other cabinet members. Asad Umar said, we are moving forward as per the vision of Prime Minister Imran Khan to transform Pakistan into a welfare state on the model of State of Medina. Asad Umar said, the inauguration of Ashas One Window Office will help facilitate the deserving families access all the Ashas related facilities under one roof. In a tweet today, Minister for Planning and Development Asad Umar said, Over 100 million people have received at least one dose of anti-COVID vaccine. He said nearly 75 million people are fully vaccinated. Describing it as another major milestone in the vaccination campaign, he however said work is not complete yet and there is a need to keep the momentum going. Interior Minister Sheikh Rashid says the government has planned to explore new tourist spots in a bid to revitalize the tourism industry and project a positive image of the country. Talking to media in Islamabad, he said the record-breaking snowfall was occurred after decades in Murray, which created such a challenging situation. He said the government will ensure proper management in the future. The interior minister said situation in Murray is consistently being monitored and till this evening all routes would be cleared. Minister for Science and Technology Shibli Faraz has said the government has prepared National Science, Technology and Innovation Policy 2022 for socio-economic development of the country. 
Speaking in a program of Radio Pakistan today, he said the policy will encourage import substitution and focus on bolstering exports. He said our aim is to take the country towards self-reliance for economic sovereignty of the country. Shibli Faraz said the country's exports should be around $100 billion in the period between 2025 and 2028. He said a national science expo is being organized at Pakistan-China Friendship Center from 28th of this month to showcase innovative projects in the fields of science and technology. The Senate was informed today that Pakistan Baitul Mal has established schools for rehabilitation of child labor to pull out children from bonded labor and imparting them education. Responding to a question during question hour in the Senate this afternoon, Minister of State for Parliamentary Affairs Ali Muhammad Khan said, currently 159 schools for rehabilitation of child labor are functional all over the country. This is Radio Pakistan. Pakistan and Qatar have agreed to address all outstanding issues pertaining to the development of LNG terminals and finalize the final investment decision by the end of this month. The understanding was reached during video conference between Minister for Maritime Affairs, Sayyid Ali Haider Zaidi, and Qatar's Minister of State for Energy Affairs, Saad Sharida al kabi today. Minister al kabi who is also the President and CEO of Qatar Energy, said Qatar Energy fully supports and will be a shareholder in one of the private sector LNG terminals being set up at Port Qasim. Qatar's Minister of State will visit Pakistan at the signing of implementation agreement. He also reiterated Qatar's support to Pakistan in the LNG sector. In Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, incarcerated senior APHC leader Shabir Ahmad Shah has denounced the upsurge in the custodial killings of Kashmiri youth. In a message from New Delhi's infamous Tihar jail released in Srinagar today, he said it has become a hobby of brutal Indian troops to kill their Kashmiris out of communal frenzy and political vengeance in the territory. Shabir Ahmed Shah paid rich tributes to the martyrs of Kulgam, Shupaya and Srinagar and said that brave people of Kashmir would not forget the sacred blood of the martyred youth. United Nations has urged the international donors to provide immediately $5 billion in aid for Afghanistan during this year to avert a humanitarian catastrophe in the war-torn country. Talking to media in Geneva, the United Nations aid Chief Martin Griffiths said 4.4 billion US dollars are needed to support 22 million people within Afghanistan, while more 623 million US dollars are required to help 5.7 million Afghan refugees in neighboring countries. The United States has promised more than $308 million in an initial aid package for Afghanistan this year. In a statement, the United States Agency for International Development said, Aid package has been announced following a UN appeal for funds to avert a humanitarian catastrophe. The money will provide for food and nutrition for vulnerable people, healthcare facilities, winterization programs, and logistics support. And now, weather report. Mainly cold and dry weather is expected to prevail in most parts of the country while very cold in hilly areas during the next 12 hours. However, dense fog is likely to occur in Upper Sindh, plain areas of Punjab, and Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. Frost is expected in Islamabad and Potoha region during morning hours. And now once again, the headlines. Prime Minister says economy of the country is now stable and moving towards prosperity due to prudent economic policies of the government. Federal Cabinet has approved launching of a housing project on 400 canals for overseas Pakistanis. Minister for Planning and Development says the government is giving special emphasis to bring improvement in living standards of people, especially deprived segments of the society. Pakistan and Qatar have agreed to address all outstanding issues pertaining to development of LNG terminals by the end of this month. In Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, APHC has denounced upsurge in the custodial killings of Kashmiri youth. The United States promises about $308 million in an initial aid package for Afghanistan. And that is the end of the news. For more news and analysis, log on to our website radio.gov.pk.